Wake up! <gasps> hey there, everyone, this is El Cow playing No Man's Sky, and wow, okay, so, today, the third seal, now, the, the mansion, the Cliffside Mansion, is the port that I'm the least familiar with, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> so, I asked, and uh, I got my answers, I wanna zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, Endless Canyon, I guess. That's where I'm going. Starlet Cove, it's not happy because I didn't go everywhere. Yeah, so I asked and I got my answer uh, about, like, what puzzle <laughs> I missed. So, the first time I interacted with the alarm, the BMOS alarm, like, I remember using the button to conceal my flame and the alarm still like starting to ring and so i just thought okay this isn't what it's for then all right cool and i just kind of filed it away and ever since then i that just stopped being an option for me when confronted with that area and i just did not think about it but apparently concealing the flame does work if you yourself are standing in darkness which is why, you know, you're supposed to find the, the blowy torch and blow it out and, uh, whoa, whoa. And, um, like, that blows away all the little candles, right? And that's how you, uh, end up as part of the military complex. No, like, that's how you go inside the well and, like, that's how, you know, you just, you're in complete darkness, so you conceal your light and the Beemos alarm that one dead end hallway doesn't get you. Fair enough, but I like my s strategy more. <laughs> and so we are. So today I do not need to go in that little side adventure in the workshop because uh, the cliffside has its own access port, portable access port that I'm going to be able to claim for myself and it's a a bit less of a detour like already i've been sort of been starting to think about the um, you know the pathway i should be taking when i'm going to be trying to beat this thing and i wonder if, if the tower port entrance or the cliffside entrance is the one i should use i can't use the riverside one because the it takes it's like it doesn't last long enough like i would have like half half a run because at some point it gets flooded so like you have the tower i think feels pretty good because it's pretty close it doesn't take long to get there and i know where there's a boat really quickly but you get a s two minute less to uh do your thing because of when the tower falls like so there's the cliffside entrance to consider which will never get doused and will never get flooded but it's the longest one to get to and i don't know where to get to a boat from a mansion yet i'm pretty sure there is a way to get one but like is it convenient i'm i don't know these are the things i gotta think about but we'll think about that another time because today we are going to search for the third password quote unquote and in the process we're gonna learn all about there is to learn about accessing the uh, inner layers of Owlnet I don't know I I I wonder how what are the proportions of people who at the very least, at some point, accidentally discover the secret of Alnet. Like, it cannot be a unique thing for me to kind of like, fall into it. Like, I'm sure, like I'm not saying like, one of the first things you do. Like, you know, like, like, you know. But eventually, like, I feel like it's such an obvious thing to just kind of happen at some point. Like, you just let it go somewhere. You want to look somewhere, you step a little bit too far, and bing bang, you know? Like, I... I don't know. Well, it's the third seal, so... What am I doing? Why did I do that? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put my thing on it. There you go, see what happens. Yeah, it's the light. 
It's not the weight, it's the light. There you go. Finally uncovered that mystery that everyone was really excited about. So I don't need to kill myself. I, I can just doze normally. I will have... So... Each of these mummy rooms are all completely filled in, right? Except there's like the one where there's an empty bed. Whoops. I bet that that's our prisoner that we're trying to rescue that was destined for that bed. Uh, but you know, then they put him in his own little private area for hundreds of thousands of years instead. Surprise, he's not a little bit more... Well, I don't know. I've never seen him. All I've seen is a memory blast. So, the info reel tells me that there's something fun to do, like, there. So, the invisible bridge I need to cross is there. So, we're gonna cross the shadow bridge. And afterwards, uh, we are uh, gonna be turning a left. That might be where I saw... Like, I'm pretty sure I saw that little gazebo area. The first time I came here, but I don't know, it feels like, like so long, in some weird way. Alright, do the candles stay, like if, well yeah, if I, if I quote unquote die and I come back, there's no reason why all these candles shouldn't be gone. Alright, the house. You can go in, but you can never leave. Oh, that's sad. Look at these candles, though. No? Okay. So you... Yeah, it's like on the other end, and that's gonna make a bridge here. Alright, so yeah, it's... I need to make... I need to turn here at some point. Alright, the music is starting. Okay, no. There's not a grabby hand there. There's a grabby hand here. Oh, can I go on the other side? No. I've been there before. How? I've been to that veranda area, I'm sure. Like I Okay, it's my not just be at like at an upper level. All right, so find some stairs up. Okay. And here There's a closed door. That's fun. Always a blast. Okay, this must be where I've been that one time. All right. Yeah, there's the veranda. Here's the two lights. So align yourself between the two candles, and there should be invisible note blocks that I can just hoof. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so assuming that all the cheats help a lot, I would wager that if you were on Owlnet, you would just see the... Oh, there's a blowy. I, you would just see the... So what does that mean, that I did that? Well, someone's upset. Well, yeah, their lights just got turned off. I probably would be upset too. I have been wondering about this. Like, so, like, okay, pretend you're one of these alpha, you know? Alright, so accidentally, one day, you just kind of casually discover the secret of some kind of immortality. Now the frame rank is... frame rate was weird. Like, you know, you're just kind of... yeah, like... Everything is so weirdly stuttery there for a second. So I think I need to head down, right? But yeah, like, so, you've discovered immortality, and so, here you are. Enjoying it as best as you can. You and your buddy, hanging out in this simulation of what your planet used to be. This is the conceal, by the way. Nothing really going on. I still need to go there, though? I need to go down. So you're spending like a couple thousand years, 10,000, 20, 100,000. And like, sure, life is pretty peaceful and whatnot, but, okay, I'm getting handed. But like, there's not a whole lot going on actually in your life. And you could say, in fact, let's be charitable. 
Hi. Oh. Life probably stagnates a little bit. Like, there's not a whole... Whoop, whoops. There's water there. Okay. But yeah, like, so... Yeah, like, that's just the word for it. There's ba You're basically living 200,000 years where nothing new ever happens. At most, maybe you got Uncle Jerry the prankster. But I feel like at year 500,000, at some point, everyone's used to it. So... Basically, like, no one lives with risk anymore, I feel like. And so, you're kind of used to this. And then suddenly, there's this strange, tiny little spaceman that's hopping around inside your private garden. What does that mean? How do you react to that? Oh, you saw me. Okay, well, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> oh, no. This... This guy... Oh, whoop. Hi. Oh, that looks pretty rad, though. Concealed! Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's legit pretty neat. So... Once upon a time, one of yous broke my neck, and I didn't- was not a fan of that. Um... That's interesting, though. He just blew my candle out. But assuming he's acting out of fear, wouldn't he want to keep me in the civilization, knowing that if he wakes me up, I might be in a position to mess around with his mummy? Or his, like, actual torch. Then again, it's been long enough they've been tucked away in here. Do they remember that they're anchored to a corpse out there in another world? How do you do this? Like, dude is over a bridge. Is he looking at me? I think he was for a moment. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Oh, well, there's the dam bursting. Maybe he'll die. Like, does he just live there always? Is he always... Okay, so this time I didn't... Can I just hide under these stairs? Hi. Oh, you can fit in, huh? Alright. Can I outrun do you, though? Maybe I can, like, go somewhere and... Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is so action-y. <laughs> oh, now I wonder if... No. I don't even know this is where I need to go, honestly. But it just feels like it could be. I been here? Like this little side cabin? There's like stuff, tools, chairs, all that exciting things. So maybe the bridge was the wrong path. Picture. Oh. Uh oh. I'm just one of your fellow owl folk. Okay. <laughs> So, forget the bridge. There's this cabin here. Well, I don't know if it's a cabin. I think it's just an extension of the house. I'm in complete darkness. Like... Is it just too late? Like, as soon as I bathe them in light, is it just too late? No. They're... Not good at this. Now the issue is I have no clue where... 
is. All right, well, I'm somewhere. So this is the bridge, okay. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. This, I'm at a projector screen. That's good. Still keeping your culture alive. I'm not here. I'm not here. I think he like physically bumped into me. <laughs> Dang it! This is kind of hard because like I don't know what my space is and I'm not sure where I want to go. Feels bad wanting to go into Alnet to scout the area out when going into Alnet is like the ultimate prize of this area. No, yeah, this being in darkness and you having to bathe yourself in darkness, like all that is like absolutely like on purpose. Something here, like just wrecks my frame rate sometimes. I don't get it. Like, what is it that's causing that? You know, a smart thing to do, maybe. He's like, hey, can I get your attention? Well, now I know he's there, at the very least. That means I can just kind of sneak here. There's some stairs going up. Maybe I want some of that action. Like, I am unsure where or what I'm trying to do. Oh, it might hear sounds. That's okay. Um, but here I am in the big old hallway. And like when you focus your thing, it forces you to go slower. It's pretty good. Oh, fart. Ooh, indeed. Oh! Oh, that's over there! Hey, buddy. Go ahead and extinguish me, it's faster. Yeah, no, no, it's that with it's that one bridge I remember. Thank you! He's so helpful. You just need to know how to approach them. Oh, I feel like we're getting close to the end of my time though. I mean, we'll see what happens. Cause right now, I have Created that bridge in the main room there, right? Like I'm pretty sure I've done that. That was my goal. And now I'm on this side. And now I think I'll have the ability to safely go to the lower route. Oh, I wonder if it would have been possible to do all... I think that's the door that opened up. If it would have been possible to do all this before turning off all the lights and thus um, being able to like actually see what you're doing. So I want to go here to get his attention. Then I'm gonna go here to hide. I'm gonna s sneak in behind him, hopefully, you know? Hey, hey buddy. Do a bad job tracking me down, please. Where am I? Good question. Okay. Alright. I'm somewhere. Hopefully I'm not being pursued. That's a dream. Well, there's a bunch of candles here. I don't know where I am. This is just like a little... Memorial area? This has got a picture of a... Chess game going on here. Um, yeah, is this not where I'm meant to go? Invisible wall. This one doesn't have a painting. Ah! Alright. Um. Um. They have teeth? 
What's with the laser grid? What's with the music? <laughs> what? Okay, well... Here's a fun place for fun people. Just heard of magic... Am I not at the right place? Into the wall. Into the wall. Into the wall. Uh, what am I missing? Am I not at the right place? I guess maybe we didn't want to go here exactly? Hi. Hey, what's going on? Alright, I can hide in the magic wall. You won't know I'm here. Maybe you will. Like the pursuit music is happening. <sighs> okay. Maybe this is not the place. But like, dude just lives there now though. Yeah. Like, what am I missing? What am I missing? A valid question. Oh, I could hear the song. The end is like right now. No, I'm not ready. I am not ready. What am I missing? Ah, oh, man, like, what is there left to do? Like, what, where did I go wrong? You do this. That much I'm sure about. You end up here. Stairs that are down. You end up here. You're at the bottom floor. There's a door way on the other side here outside. There's clearly something on the other end. What? Can I go across here? Yeah! Yes! Okay. Oh no! I found it! It was here this time! I'm coming back. I'm coming back! Ah! <laughs> I, I went the wrong way. Alright, Ashtwin. Do your worst. Well, since I'm here. Just confirming. Do you see this bridge? Yeah. Absolutely. That's the bridge I went to turn all the lights off. And that's the big bridge that I created. And there's the blowy. And there's the other one. And that's directly underneath that one. So if I ever want to take a boat from this port, well... So as I was saying, so if I want to take the boat from the third port in order to maximize the amount of time I have uh, on the internet before, well, before uh, Ashtwin happens, that's where the boat is. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just that I feel like this is the place that takes the longest to get. Like, it's a matter of... Measuring my time before getting there, you know? Alright, well, I know what to do. I just need to do it. Whoops. Well, that was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> so, this is where you create the bridge, which means that... Where's the path towards the boat? Is it a internet path? It would have to be, right? Hey, I discovered the power of the internet, and then what? I discovered there's a there's a thing up there, and that's weird. I thought I should make it face the other way. 
That's weird. Oh my god, I'm on the internet. No, there is no path. Oh, it's over here. And yeah, it's a ghost path. So, tucked away there, and there's an elevator that goes down to the dock down there. And that's how you can access that book. Alright. Now we turn off all the lights in the house. It's not the house that disappears. Have a little bit more image permanence than that. I just turn off all the lights all at once. Why do they have that system in place? Don't worry about it. Alright, I'm here. So, do this. Hey, bud, I'm here. Here we go. Not very bright, these guys. <laughs> Alright, where are you at? I want a shortcut back. It's easier to find myself. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's so cartoony. Alright, so we open up that bridge. Uh... Which leads us to this side of the whole thing, which gives us access to stairs. Maybe this is the part, like, downstairs here? Like, is this what's covered by... Maybe. It's covered by, um... A seal. And ultimately, that sweat gets whisked away when you blow out all the candles. Big ol' elevator, you know, uh, pattern. I'm getting a little bit used to. Down into the vault we go. Well, I got plenty of time to explore these vault. Vault number three. They're all super high up, inconvenient for everyone to get to. So I don't know what's up with that memorial place. Well, there's the password. Quote on quote. Oh, this one is like built on spires. All right. Yeah, this one seems organized a little bit differently. Oh, hmm. I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Because notice how far away the thing is, right? All right, so yeah. Uh, I have access to that there, through doing that. I just walked in here, was that a mistake? <laughs> I just kinda... I guess I can just do th that and hurt myself, but... Yeah, maybe don't do that. <laughs> so, okay, so I see. You put that there, that opens up those doors. Not this door. Just that door? Because, like, how do you... And here, you get curious, and you're like, what? And you're like, what? Then you see that here's a bridge. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's scary. Um, so they're not just burnt. They are destroyed on a code level. Wow! Okay, but point is, my point is made. Like, they put the thing with the password super far away so that you would naturally go back and discover this. I agree! Had I discovered this the intended way, I, I don't know what my reaction would be. I bet it'd be pretty extreme. The dam is bursting. I just don't understand how this doesn't happen naturally. Wait, this is still... How do you get any film? People died. Where are my movie reels? This is closed. Wait, was I supposed to go there and then like the door would have been open and I was just too quick? I'm confused as to where, where I can get movies. So I'm gonna do that. This closes. 
Oh, they're there. <sighs> right, I'm gonna hurt myself again. Ow! Yeah, accurate. Look, they're kind of in a weird spot, man. Like, way up there. Alright, two movies. One of them, the continued history of Owls and Friends. And probably another, uh... Oh, you gotta, like... Eh! You gotta jump to get it. That's funny. Well, I mean, the owl folks are, like, really tall. That is... So... To me, these are the highlights, so let's learn more about the internet and the dangers within. Alright, here you go. So, here I am, just kind of chilling out there in my astral park, uh, when suddenly I'm zoomed out to show that no, yeah, so imagine having to spend a hundred thousand years plus anchored to this relatively large thing you have to carry at all times because that thing is rendering your reality if you step out uh, wobble but then you're a ghost uh, so being extremely direct no metaphors just clearly explaining a behavior and to repeat myself I don't know how you don't get that just at some point accidentally, but it must have happened. I'm sure it happened. I'm, I just wonder how many people found that. Anyways, so maybe the final history reel is gonna be inside a sarcophagus, sarcophagus because history part three, everyone is extremely delusional, everything sucks. Everything blows. I'm gonna have Grandpa here tell his story about the old world. So I'm assuming that, like, he's someone who actually lived on their old planet, but everyone around them were either kids or something, or, like, just, just not born yet. Like, I don't know how long this took to completely dismember their planet in order to make an inside-out copy to blast in the space. Like, I have no context for how long that but that old man... Not a... That nostalgia is killing him. And so, at some point... I guess they decided to... Okay, so they're designing the internet. Like, alright, you know what? This is a bad time. We're gonna do it. We have the ability to do pretty, you know, pretty nice hologram, restoring memory objects and whatnot. We're gonna do it. We're gonna rebuild it, and we're gonna go there. And then Kirby's gonna try and swallow an enemy. Then we're all gonna go to bed, and we're never going to wake up ever again. And we're all... See, he's breathing. He's sleeping. He's snoozing. Hmm. That was by far the most straightforward one. Alright, well. I came here for what I wanted. I know what to do. I know what's going on. Maybe we save a guy next time.